the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. Today I'm going to be installing a Fruition Designs kit on my KS0 Pro. Yes, you heard that right. Not a big boy ASIC, but the KS0 Pro. So, this is going to help me cool off my KS0 Pro so you can overclock it to the max or even just put it in a hotter environment. Right now, my K0 Pro is sitting in my office where I try to shoot my videos and do recording and it's just kind of loud. I have to have this AC Infinity fan sitting on top of this power brick, blowing into the um, side of the ASIC where the power cord is, out the other side with the fan on top. It's, it's just kind of sloppy and loud. You can hear it in the background of my videos. Um, it's just a little bit obnoxious the way it's set up and I want to get it out of here and in order to do that I live in Florida to put it in my garage I have to cool it down better so I'm gonna be installing this fruition designs kit um, if you want a discount on any of this stuff I'm just gonna go over what I've got here laid out so you can get your discount codes if you're just here for the discount codes if you want to watch this video stick around it's gonna be pretty cool but here's the discount codes fruition designs if you want 15% off of fruition designs kit you can use discount code greater good if you want 2.5% off of an ice river KS0 Pro, which are currently in stock, my discount code is greater at Ice River's website. For a meter box where you can see your power uh, usage, this is a 120 volt one. Um, the meter box 10% off discount code is greater. And then also, I keep my Caspa on Tangent Wallet. Um, you can get 10% off Tangent Wallet with discount code greater good. So, all right, um, I'm going to go ahead. Check out the website, show you all the features uh, from the website, and then we'll do an unboxing. Okay, here we are on fruitiondesignsllc.com. That's the website right there. And we're on the KS0 Pro Overclocking Cooling Shroud Kit. It's $90, and let's see what they say about it. This shroud kit is for those who are interested in getting more out of your KS0s, both standard and the Pro units. When you overclock the KS0s or the KS0 Pros, the passive cooling doesn't quite do the trick, and you need a way to actively cool the ASIC. This shroud kit can be mounted vertically, horizontally, or even on the wall. So um, I have mine turned sideways right now, but you can lay it flat because the, the airflow is so concentrated, just like a regular ASIC. And then you can also get the kit with the AC Infinity fans for 135 bucks, but don't forget you can get 15% off with that code that I gave you. Now let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's get it going. Good unboxings always start with a knife. Let's do it. Okay, everything's all nice and bubble wrapped. I won't make you watch that. Let's go ahead and just do this through the power of editing looking pretty sweet so the full kit is kind of where it's at for me because it's a one-stop shop it comes with everything you need it comes with the shroud your zip ties to connect everything together the AC infinity fans which on their own are pretty expensive but in the kit I think it's a, a nice discount especially if you use my discount code the kit comes with the controller um, so you can control the speed depending on what um, temperatures you're getting um, comes with all the screws and everything so I like having the full kit then I don't have to go hunting around for parts randomly so anyway there it is let's go ahead and check and see what the temps are so we can do a before and after comparison of the temperatures and the power consumption and we'll see how everything turns out um, first we'll start with that baseline let's get it okay so here we are in the web GUI and my intake temps 30 degrees my exhaust temps 46 degrees and I'm getting 252 giga hash per second on a 30 minute average and I have the internal fan set to 100% for this test so that way there's no question where the fan is at any given time during the testing it's always going to be set manually by me at 100% so I want to see what will happen when I just put only the fruition designs kits and the AC infinity fans on, I want to see how low these temperatures get and what my hash rate does. Um, it is an overclocked KS0 Pro. Uh, right now the fans, um, they're just flown over the ASIC. I had to have them like aimed just perfectly to get them um, like, like properly aimed at the middle of the ASIC and it just doesn't work out. It, it's just not an easy thing to do, like to have it aimed perfectly. You have to have very concentrated airflow in just the right spots that's why i want to try this fruition designs kit so um, i'm going to show you how to put it on it's really easy and then we're going to do some after testing so we can see just from the kit alone what difference we get let's go ahead and put the kit on and see what we do okay first step you need to remove the plates on the side there's four screws on each side uh, pretty simple i already removed them so um right here boom 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 remove the screws and pop this plate off that way you're getting airflow through the middle of this bad boy. Next step, you just uh, want to pop these little knockout sections out. Just whichever ones you want to use for your power cable and your ethernet cable. There's one on each side. So I'm going to probably knock out the bottom corner 
on each side so I can have my cables just all on one side of the KS Zero Pro shroud kit. So um, pick which ones you want to knock out, uh, depending on how you want to arrange. And um, like if you want to see mount it to the wall, like you can pick whatever one you want to knock out. You know, you kind of just hit it with like something like a screwdriver or um, anything that you can that will knock this little plastic piece out. It'll come out pretty easy. Uh, it's hard to show you uh, while I'm holding my camera, but you basically just knock it like that uh, pretty hard and it'll pop out. Okay, quick tip before you even go too much further, make sure you have your IP address written down because I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to really very easily get to your IP button on here if you need to log into the web GUI again. So make sure you've got that written down, make sure you got a stack IP. Okay, so I've already gotten the shroud slid over one side of the KS0 Pro. This is where the intake side will be for the fan. The intake side needs to be on the side where your power cable is going through. So it's pretty easy. You can see I just ran my power bricks cable through and plugged it into the barrel plug area on the back of the KS0 Pro here. And then on the other side, I've got the ethernet cable ran through that spot where we knock out the um, little hole here. So you can see right there, that's where I knocked the little plastic piece out so I could run my cable through and I already plugged the ethernet cable into the KS0 Pro. So now we're just going to slide these together and then it's pretty pretty easy. We're just going to zip tie these two together. So um, just slide it. It's hard to do with one hand on the camera um, but yeah just slide the shroud over. You'll see it'll just slide right on there and then it'll click in. See how this accepts the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten those zip ties down in these four spots boom boom and boom boom so next step you'll see you'll see it all zip tied together and the shroud slid over properly and then we'll move on to the next step okay it's starting to come together so um, I've just bolted on it's pretty simple um, bolts nuts some rubber washers right here um, I bolted one of the fans on very easy um, the main thing is to make sure that you've got the airflow properly going through the shroud kit so um, on the axial 1238s where when you see that symbol that's where the air is pushing to um, air is sucking through the side that has just a blank black nothing on it the side the air is blowing to is this side so you can see the air is blowing through so you want to blow it through from the power cord side this is the side of the KS0 Pro that has the barrel connector, that's your power cable, blow through and out the other side where the ethernet cable is. And this is the side that you want the air to suck out of, okay? So just remember, it's kind of like a regular big boy ASIC. You need to bring air in one side and you need to suck it out the other side. So just make sure you got your fans lined up so they're not fighting each other, okay? And next step, we'll have the fans all bolted on with these nuts and bolts and washers. Um, I'm gonna actually, um, I, I wasn't going to initially put these grills on, but I think I will just to make sure that nothing uh, gets sucked through there. I'm going to have it in the garage, so um, just in case a leaf goes in there or something. Um, so I'll put the grills on, plus they look cool. And then next thing we'll do, um, we're going to plug it all in. We're going to see how much wattage it takes, and we'll see what temperatures we can get and how the hash rate looks. All right, here's how it's looking all put together, and it is looking pretty sweet. I love how cleaned up it is. I mean... No more issues with cable management and stuff just all over the place. Looking sweet, looks like the Millennium Falcon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check what it's doing in the web GUI. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to run and then I'll, I'll take a look and see what our temps are looking like. Hopefully they are a little bit lower. Um, I know the airflow and it's not always about the intake and exhaust temps too. It's about the concentrated airflow down the middle. That's what you need to be able to run these um, safely with good uh, overclocks and all that. And especially if it's warm. So anyway, we'll check it out in the web GUI in a minute once it runs for a while. Okay, so not only are we getting cooler temperatures that you saw on the previous screen, we are also getting a higher hash rate, uh, 277 giga hash per second. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I had to adjust the overclocks because my cooling seems to have improved and has allowed me to overclock further. So um, we'll go ahead and let this run for a little while, just kind of see where we land. Uh, but so far we've had anywhere from like 274, dip down to 261 for a second, to back up to 277. So, so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll let it run a little longer and then we'll see how we do. Okay, I have been running for about 53 minutes now and my 
25 minute hash rates 270 and my 30 minute hash rates 270 giga hash per second that's pretty sweet and you can see it got as high as 281 uh, giga hash per second recently so the cooler temperatures the better airflow have allowed me to run a better overclock on my KS Hero Pro. There's other ways you can get even more aggressive if you want to. I might get into that in another video. You can apply copper heat sinks to the MOSFETs. You can replace the thermal pads, the thermal paste, um, and this kit, uh, you should be able to run very aggressive overclocks on the KS Hero Pro. But for now, I am very happy. That'll have to be another video. This one's already long enough. Let's go ahead and check the wattage on the meter box and see where we're at before and after. So we started at 153 watts, landed at 167 watts that you can see here on the meter box. I am very happy with this kit. It's cool looking. It's allowed me to overclock further. And um, I want to say thank you one more time to Fruition Designs. I appreciate you letting me test this kit out. It's really awesome. Thank you again for the opportunity. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, don't forget to please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're interested in crypto content and uh, especially Ice River content, Casper Asics, I've got tons of it. Check it out. And last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.